This is how I think Scotland cut through the middle of England's defence. First of all, Scotland ran this wraparound play all the time from scrum launches. But it's usually run different to how Scotland ran it in this particular England game. It's usually run tighter to the scrum. Gloucester Rugby used to run this play super well. Atkinson and 12 Trees were so skilled at running it. The attack in 12 will usually look to pin the inside shoulder of the defensive fly half. And the hard running 13 will run into the next gap. Making the opposition 12 have to step in. One way to try and shut this down is for the defensive 13 to shoot up. And try and shut down the attack and fly half. Before he's had a chance to get the ball and make a pass. And that's usually a good solution to defend this player. Because everyone's marked up. Four can mark two a to, Lawrence marks Hugh Jones and Slade has a license to shoot up on Russell. So to defend Slade here I don't think he's actually made a wrong decision. I think their defence is pre-planned. They will have looked at this play all week and decided that's just how they're going to shut it down. So Slade is just sticking to the plan. But now come the brilliance of probably Russell and Gregor Townsend. I think Scotland knew that England were going to blitz defence on this play all week so they won the game of chess and decided to run the play differently. As you see in this example, Tuipilotu and Jones set up to run the play as usual but then make a last second adjustment to bounce outside into the next channel. I think it's something they will have practiced all week because they know England will be looking to blitz. Tuipilotu targets Lawrence instead of Ford, who becomes redundant in defence. Lawrence is then forced to tackle Tuipilotu, and Hugh Jones just shifts into the next gap. Slade is just sticking to the plan and shooting out the back, so the gap just opens up for Jones. Like I said, I think Scotland had planned that England were going to defend this play with a blitz, so rather than Slade making a wrong decision, I think he's just stuck to the defensive plan. It's Scotland's attack as a whole who's outsmarted England's defence by slightly changing up how they run the play. Let me know if you agree or disagree on what happened with this play. Hopefully it gives you a good insight into my thoughts.